Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, doing a get ready with me today lunch date edition, okay? Where is my water? This is a mess, hold on. So, yeah, I was like, let me just film. We're gonna get cute. We're gonna do something like soft, I think. I wanna use my Morphe 35S palette. I'm gonna style my hair. And um, we're just gonna get ready together. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna start off with my First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Collagen Cream. Oh, I love this stuff. I love it. It's really good for every day, but I really like to use it before makeup because I just feel like it's the perfect moisturizer before makeup. And then for primer today, I'm going to be going into my Smashbox Vitamin Glow um, Primer with Vitamins B, C, and E. I really like this one. Um, it's more serum-like than what I normally use, but I love to use this one, especially when I know that I'm probably going to be doing a more matte face, um, just so that... Not more matte, but I'm really going to be setting the skin because I want the makeup to stay on today, you know. It's lunchtime. It's hot. First of all, I got the worst tan. I just went for a little walk with the dogs and um, I have the worst tan on my leg that I will not show, but it's weird. Uh, I don't, I mean, I got my morning started. Yeah, I started my morning off right, but now I have like a terrible tan to show for it, but like she's burning calories. Okay, I'm sorry, like so off topic. So I'm going to go into the eyebrows first, and for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in shade Medium Brown. This is like the first time where like I think I'm the most relaxed while filming. I'm like texting people on my phone. I'm like, boom. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve out the brow. I'm going to take my Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I'm going to take one of the brushes from the e.l.f. Mini Melt Collection. As you can tell, I really love e.l.f. brushes. They're the only brushes that I use. I don't think I'll ever cheat on them. They're my favorite. Well, that and I have some Equal Tools brushes and some Tarte ones, but e.l.f. ones are the ones that I constantly buy. Those ones I just have. Anyways. I like this brush. This is their uh, eye contour, and it's really good for that. But also, I like to use it to like kind of set my base on my eye before eyeshadow too. And I also like to use it to kind of set um, like a cream a cream colored shadow if I'm using it, which I might be doing today. I don't know. One thing I've noticed about the paint pots from MAC is you have to work with them fast because they do dry and get pretty, they get tacky and they don't want to blend out and uh, it's hella annoying. So make sure you work with it fast, but it's a great base and primer for eyeshadow. And even if you're not wearing eyeshadow to kind of carve out the brows and everything, and kind of just lay like a base down onto the lid just to kind of tie in a look, I think it's really good. I think I want to use my e.l.f. Jen Atkin palette today. So I'm going to start off by going into this deep brown shade. Okay, and to go on top of that, I'm going to use the shade next to it, which is like a more reddish brown. And I'm going to kind of blend that all over, mainly in the crease. And then I'm going to take the mini melt brush and I'm going to go in with the dark brown and the black. Kind of mix them and add it to the outer corner to create depth on the eye. Pretty. I love this palette in general because it really is good for everyday use. I think this was such a good collection. And the fact that they had them for different skin tones too, I really did like that. I'm going to go back into that same mini melt brush with that same MAC Soft Ogre Paint Pot. And I'm just going to kind of cut the crease in the front of the eye. 
on both sides. So... Like so. I love these like neutral soft looks. I feel like they're really good for any event that you want to do. So whether you're going to work, you're going on a date, you just want to glam up. It's just really perfect for any type of look. So to set that, I'm going to go in with the first shade in this palette, which is a very light cream. And I'm using that same brush. And I'm just going to pack that on top to set it so that it doesn't crease. Then I'm going to take that same mini melt brush and just make sure that the edges are blended out nicely. And then that same fluffy brush to go over top of that with the lighter brown shade. Just kind of blend it out so that it's not like, because I don't want this look to be too dark. I do want like a nice kind of gradient effect of it and very nice and neutral but I don't want it to be like too dark so I think like that's perfect so I'm gonna use the elf um, liquid liner this is in jet black my favorite one I don't think I'll ever use anything else I'm gonna use it to line the eyes I kind of want to create like a just a nice sharper wing And it's very pretty, it's effortless, but it looks like you did a lot, which we kind of did, but it's very, like, natural. I really like it. So, we already primed the face, so I'm going to go into the Ulta Beauty Velvet Matte Full Coverage Foundation. I really love this foundation. I think it'll be really good for oily skin or if you have kind of combo or normal to oily. Um, it is a very matte foundation. It's quite similar to, like, your Juvia's Place or your Tarte Amazonian Clay, but not as drying. So if that makes sense, it's thick like that, but it's not as dry, which I don't mind that about them, but just for reference, if you guys were wondering. This is the e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush, by the way, and it's the best brush for applying your foundation. It leaves literally no streaks, and it has another end, like, for your under eyes and for, like, the places where you want to get, like, a precise application. I'm not using it today because I think I want a cream contour and use it for that instead of, like, for this. I'd rather use my Beauty Blender right now because... I don't know I have to make up my mind but that's why I'm not using it but I love it. I absolutely love it next I'm gonna take my elf camo concealer this is in the shade medium neutral love this one this is my favorite this is like their original matte version so good so so good realized I forgot to put my SPF well that's fine I'm gonna set underneath the eyes now before that I'm gonna take that same elf brush and kind of just blend out the edges of the concealer so that it's not too harsh or anything I just like to make sure that it kind of all blends seamlessly into one instead of like highlight contour foundation like I like a sleek, flawless blend I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty setting powder in the shade Butter. So much of this comes out, it's kind of annoying. But I'm using it because I bought it. I wasn't the biggest fan of this at first. I'm going to use the e.l.f. 105 brush to set under like my eyes and everything. I wasn't the- oh my god. I wasn't the big biggest fan of this at first. And I don't know if I am. But I've been using it every day, so I guess that means that I like it. I don't know. Dude. I inhaled the hell out of that powder. Oh my god. <coughs> Jesus, it's all in my nose. I'm gonna take my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in shade tan and I'm gonna use that to set the rest of my skin. 
And then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna brush away that Fenty Beauty powder. It's funny, I got this kind of as a dupe for the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish because I just didn't feel like getting the MAC one and I was like, well, I'll just try the Sephora one because I heard really good things about it and I'm pleasantly surprised. Of course, I fell in love with it and then I freaking broke the packaging, but she still works, so that's all that matters. But I'm just setting everywhere. Wiped away all that excess powder. I'm gonna fix my liner because I got some concealer on it. Next, I'm gonna bronze. So I'm gonna be using my Kylie Cosmetics bronzer in shade Tawny Mommy. I love this one. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna use this Equal Tools brush. It's very dense. I do. I do like this powder a lot. I love the formula. I know they just reformulated it with their new Kylie Cosmetics launch. Um, I don't, I didn't get it because, I don't know, I feel like I should use this one first and then get that one, but also while I'm running out of this one, I can kind of compare, like, the new formula with, like, their former form for formula, which is this one, so, we'll see, I don't know, we'll see, but I love this shade for me, for contour, it's just, I don't know. It actually really, it's more, it really bronzes the skin, and I like that because that's what I'm looking for. I don't want something that's going to be really dark to where it looks like a big patch. Like, I want to look sun-kissed, and that's really what I get from this. So, I'm going to set my skin now. So, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist 16 Hour Wear. I like this one. Pretty. Next, I'm going to be going into the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighters, and I have it in Mean Money and Hustle Baby. I'm going to be using Hustle Baby. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush brush. I use it for everything. Okay. I'm going to... Oh! Like, are you... Phew, are you kidding me? Like, are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm that girl today. I like to apply some on my forehead because you can never get enough glow when it comes to Miss Fenty. I'm taking a little bit of Mean Money over top too. And I'm gonna take my Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Powder Blush in Wild Berry. This is the shade, I love it, it's so pretty. Um, it's so pigmented though, I don't need too, too much, but it's gorgeous, and it's a really pretty formula too. And you can build it up, which I like. I like how it's not just straight up this color on my skin. I can build it and make it as light or as deep as possible without it looking too crazy. Like, I think, like, I have the perfect color blush right now. Oh, pretty. Then I'm gonna take that same brush that I used for the highlight and just make sure that she's there. Wrong brush. Wow, awesome. I literally confused myself because I used a little bit of different brushes today, but it's okay. Setting is key, so I'm setting one more time for now. I'm gonna go into my Urban Decay Lash Perversion Mascara. I love this one. So good. I'm gonna take it out with top lashes. I'm gonna add a little bit of sparkle to the eye. So on the inner corner, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. This is... It doesn't even have a shade on it. Weird. But it's basically like this one. It's their liquid glitter eyeshadow. I just don't know. Wait a minute. I don't know what the shade is. Is it Dirty Peach? Dirty Peach? Flirty Birdie. I don't know who the hell is Dirty Peach. Flirty Birdie. And I'm taking that on the inner corners. See, it's so pretty. They definitely are like a little more watery than I would like it to be, but I don't really mind it, especially for the inner corners. I think it's such a pretty, pretty thing. I'm gonna move on to lips. 
I can't believe I'm almost done with the makeup. Wow. I'm going to go into my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner, which I need to sharpen badly. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Camel Concealer Medium Sam. So this one is like an old one. So I like to kind of use those as like my ombre. And I know it sounds crazy. I say this every video, but like I promise you, it looks good. So... Or maybe you don't think it looks good, but I do. So that's all that matters, right? I'm gonna take my NYX Lip Lingerie and Baby Doll and apply that to the center as well. It's gonna give it like a pink tint, like so. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely stunning. Oh, I love this. So I'm gonna take my KKW lipstick in shade Nude One, a high to the middle. I know I put a lot of different lipsticks, but it helps me create like the perfect like ombre in my opinion. But I, I really go in and I tweak it to my liking. So all right, boom. I'm bringing these with me today, so let me keep them to the side. So I'm gonna apply this Elf Elf Jesus this ColourPop Luxe lip gloss in shade electric i think it's from like one of their like spring summer collections i don't know mm, it's like the perfect nudie pinky gloss <sighs> okay to set the whole face i know we've done a lot of setting but we want to make sure it stays on you know we're going to lunch we're going to be in the sun i'm going to use my urban decay all nighter I'm gonna let that dry sometimes I'll go in if I feel like I made the lip too brown I'll go back in with that concealer shade that I use for lipstick and kind of make it a little bit brighter in the center because that's the goal for my ombre lip I want it to kind of be bright in the center kind of like that yeah I did it perfect now oh the highlight everything I love this look okay I think I want to add some highlights to my collarbone so I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty same thing, Hustle Baby and more money. And I'm gonna mix them so that it's not crazy. Oh, look at the difference. Ah, oh, look at this, gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna add more to the skin because I feel like I want more. After blending, I'm like, yeah, I need more. Oh my gosh, okay, boom. Makeup is set, makeup is done. So uh, we're gonna move on to hair now. Oh Lord, okay. Let me grab my hair products, I'll be right back. Oh, I'm gonna start by unbraiding. I like to work side by side cause um, kinda just helps me see what I need to do. So what I use, I have a spray bottle that's filled with water and I had a little bit of the Aussie Curls Miracle Curl, I think leave-in milk, something. I'll put the picture of it on the screen. I sometimes use my Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. I use a little bit of the Garnier Fructis Curl Nourish because this can make the hair hard, so you use a little bit, mix it with water. And then I like to use Got To Be, especially because like my hair is coming to an end, you feel me? Like, this frontal, she's, you know? So it kind of helps me with any parts that may be like a little messed up. I kind of just dot, dot, dot. I use that mainly just for kind of like the frontal, nothing else. So when I took a shower, I had my hair in braids, so it kind of came out perfect <laughs> actually and I have my hair in braids all night but I'm gonna spray it and then I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna brush through it I'm gonna take a wide tooth comb and like untangle the bottom and then when that's untangled I'm gonna just kind of move up until it's untangled at the top too yeah I'm gonna take this hair out soon but for today Kind of make it do what it do. Taking a little bit of the curl cream and adding it in. Making sure I'm getting the ends. I go to the ends last with the products because I don't want the ends to be like too heavy or anything. Okay, and then I'm gonna move on to the other side. Same thing, same process.
So for the Lotta Body Mousse, I like to take that just on the top of the hair to prevent like flyaways or frizzies or anything. Kind of like so, kind of just put it on and that's that. Doesn't make the hair hard. Mine is a little watered down because I was running out and that's it. I'm putting water in it, so keep that in mind, please. I have my hair back. So, she's a mess. Whatever. I'm gonna use a little bit of the gotta be just a tad. Especially because his hair is coming out soon, the gotta be just kind of helps me with like making sure that when I go out, this girl won't leave me. You know, she won't leave me. And yeah, that's really what I do for the hair. I think that's just what I'm gonna do today. Well, for the styling portion or products. And I'm gonna spray my hair a little more. I like to do that, especially once I brush it out and it gets a little puffy. Tweaking the lips again. I literally do this all day. I'm gonna add more setting spray. I'm obsessed with setting spray. This is why I run out so fast, okay? Anyways. So I got these hair clips off at of Amazon. I'll link them down below. They came in like a cute little box and there were a whole bunch of pearlized hair clips. Now I'm gonna be putting three in. I'm doing it on the right side. Um, I did this yesterday and it was just a super cute look. So I'm gonna basically be doing it. I'm gonna do the square one, the round one, and then the little pin, bobby pin. So I'm gonna kinda do it like this. I actually saw this, um, you know, Makeup by Tiffany J. Here on YouTube, she posted a video, and this is what inspired this hair look, actually. She had her hair parted to the side, and I was like, well, girl, my hair's not parted to the side, but I do have some pearl clips, so how can we make this work? And this is what I came up with. It's basically the same thing, but with the middle part, so. Yeah, it was so pretty. I'm gonna put the picture on the screen. She looked so good in the picture, but it really inspired me to kind of style the hair more because um, I have all these clips, you know? I'm gonna wet this part a little more. Sometimes I feel like the front doesn't get as wet. I don't know. Okay, so that is the hair. I like it. I think it's cute. I love having the clips in and I think it just adds a cute aspect. I think I look like I put in more effort than I really did with the hair because at this point I'm ready to just but not yet, not yet, not yet. In like tomorrow or like a few days, but not yet. Show you guys my outfit and then I'm gonna change it to it. Let me show you. Can y'all see? Okay, so today I'm gonna wear this really cute Lily Pulitzer romper. I love it, it has cute detailing on the bottom. Super, super cute, it zips up in the back. And then to match it, I'm gonna go wear my coach bag, which I think is so cute together. So, kinda like so, like this. So, I'm gonna go put that on and be right back. Wait, before I go change, I wanna go into my Tree Hut Vitamin C Body Butter. Love this stuff. It's my favorite and I literally, put it all over. I like to put it over my arms and then I'm gonna put some on my legs. I have the worst tan on my legs like I said earlier but um she has to look cute today because she's going on lunch day. So yeah I like to put it on my feet. It's really good like if you have like dry heels or anything. A body butter I think is really good for that. Um it helps just like hydrate it for the moment. It may not be something long term but it hydrates it for the moment. I'm all lotioned up, put some on my chest, put some excess. I don't like to put a lot of product on my chest or even lotions because for some reason I feel like my chest breaks out easily. Not even breaks out, but it, I'm gonna get like small pimples and I don't like that there. I really, I personally don't like having pimples on my chest, so yeah. So I kind of just keep it, you know, on my arms, on my legs, sometimes on my stomach. 
especially because it has vitamin C, it's brightening. Um, so it helps with like any scarring I have. But I put like the excess on the chest, not like a full glob. Anyways, gonna go change now. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. We're gonna finish up with the fragrance. So I'll be right back. I'm really feeling myself in this. It's just so cute. Okay. I think it looks so cute with like all the... I need to take pictures. I need to have my man take pictures of me today. Anyways, so we're going to get into fragrance. I think I'm going to wear my Tory Burch Love Relentlessly because my baby got it for me for Valentine's Day and it's our date. So let me go get it. This is her. I love to keep her in the box, but she has such a pretty bottle too. But I keep her tucked away for the important events. So I'm just going to spray some. I like to spray like on my chest and all like my temples. Oh, that got on my face. Also, the roller balls. Hold on. This is a little big on me, like the straps, but still cute. Um, they have roller balls. Like I have the roller ball version of the Love Relentlessly here that I like to put on my wrist and kind of really take on those focal points, you know. But yeah, and this is the one that like I bring with me. I also have another one. It's blue. It smells really good. But anyways, Love Relentless is my favorite, 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 favorite. All right, and we're all set. We're lotioned up, perfumed up. And yeah, if I take pictures, I'll like, and they'll probably be in the thumbnail. But yeah, I'm going to wear like my white, my record sandals because I think it's going to be like the cutest with it. But that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for getting ready with me. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to see more content like this, let me know because I love filming like Get Ready With Me's. It makes me actually like really hype for like whatever I'm about to do. I just realized I didn't put on earrings, but I don't I don't think I'm gonna wear earrings because it gets caught in my hair a lot and I don't I don't have time. So yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Show up, I keep you down the roller Leave me on the west side by me